Hello everyone, this is Alex the Linkwitz here, and welcome back to who, the Trinal House Trilogy. Um, well, we just finished these two. Uh, one involved a girl needing to get tickets to get on a train, and then this one involved the uh, character we saw that we met um, aboard in the train along with us, and uh, he was witnessing no one was on the train almost, and... Uh, everyone that was on the train were in bags now and stuff, and I refused to look in the bags. I was constantly saying, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? And, uh, yeah, he ended up in the bag. So now we're on to the last one, which is Exhale. So, yep, nothing more else to say then. Let's, let's see what Exhale is. Exhale is. Alright, Exhale. Okay, so we're back to the, to Alex. Ugh, I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. Since I have nothing else to do. Whoa, god damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. Well, don't you? I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around, ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. Okay, yeah, so let's see. Cards, money, mace, the usual. <laughs> I have cards. Why don't I just, you know, play some solitaire? My train tickets. I could kill for a cigarette right now, but I should wait. Yeah. Okay. All right. Out the door. Hey. Evening, lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? Mm. The train lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like laying on air, isn't it? It's. Oh. She's kind of ancient, right? <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to old and on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh, mm. no. <laughs> not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's <laughs> also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tack. Huh. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. By the uh, way, yeah? speaking of a bird, like do you want to see the one I killed in oh, the, my the jacket? Oh, stuff. I found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun thing. So, anything I can help you with, miss? Uh... You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late-night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. Mm. Won't sit still. Surprised he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. Okay. So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little nibblewomset. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't mm. any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Mm. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? Aye, got some time off. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. Ah, oh, that's nice. 
So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Hi. Off to look at the ground in the ruins. I had no idea Mold Home Island had any historical secrets like that. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. His name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. Hmm. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes. Aye? <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Um. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. Ah. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye, they all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly, especially now I know he's Kat's boss. Mm -hmm. He's in 1B, but hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Ask me to wake him in an hour, so I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay. Cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Mm. Uh, Floyd? Floyd. The barman. Runs the bar. It's open if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Well, thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some what? <laughs> no, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Eh, <laughs> bags, okay, bags, sure. get it? Bags. Catch you later, Don. You know, because the last part involved bags, and the third part, and the first part, there were bags. Now he mentions bags under his eyes. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Oh, so this time it's not all sealed, which is good. Oh, look, a drink is already prepared for me. And Hello? Okay. Floyd? Anyone? <laughs> the game froze for a second for hmm. some reason. No sign. Well, free drink. Can't argue with that. Oh, sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. Bloody well, it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, uh, that's thoughtful. Uh, how does he know your name? And... No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. And wouldn't you be suspicious about, uh... You know, how does he know how you're feeling that you want a Bloody Mary? Oh, look, the set, that door's open, so... This is good to see this guy again. Oh no, it's a ballerina. A little ballerina girl. Uh, hi. Hey. Uh, how you hey. doing? How are you doing, kiddo? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. How are you, mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. Uh -huh. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Uh. Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Huh? Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah. Don't I know it. Mm. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. 
Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Mm. Grown-ups. Weird. Okay. So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. <laughs> Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. Yeah, I know a lot about BDSM because I read this comic book series called Sunstone. Oh, it's pretty good. Way better than that Fifty Shades of Grey bullshit. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I uh -huh. hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. So why are you wearing you that ballerina? You seem pretty good to me. Ballerina suit. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh, man. That takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it, too. Didn't work, though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. Plus, it's seven years like of bad luck. Necklace. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. But <laughs> boys are totally gross. Yep, of yeah, course. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. <laughs> he has a silly name. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. And well, now we great know to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. <laughs> Come back and see me later. You know, I don't know if it's really good to practice ballet on a moving train, you know? I shouldn't mess with it. I might upset her. Ah, eh, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not going to rummage through her bag right in front of her. <laughs> Every question, how did you have that big bag and everything? Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Same. Hey! Even, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. Mm. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Yeah. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Ah. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. Speaking of which, I killed I'm that sure bird. It's in my coat. It. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You didn't want to look at it, but whatever. No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman. Oh, I. Huh. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me. Don't say you can't see it. <laughs> oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> uh, who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I mm. imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Yeah. Aye, you're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, 
Can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, I. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. Ah, uh, what about your mum? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. Mm. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry. This conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. I... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Ah, balls. There we go. Into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down. We're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. Uh, I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Hmm. Well, I do happen to have a lighter. Here, use this lighter. Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. Yeah. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. <laughs> is it? Oh, crap. What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. <laughs> you seem very calm. I probably shouldn't go in there. Besides, it's almost certainly locked. You seem pretty calm after, you know, a guy just vanished out of thin air. Better not tamper with the machinery. Mm. No response. It's locked. Uh, Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. Alright, let's go. She's probably now in a bag. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. But, Nothing's burning just now. Well, I mean, we could grab the thing and bash it. Take it for the door. Nah. Oh, look who it is. Uh, Rob? Alex, hello. You came. They said you would. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? <laughs> You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination. Oh, like that's probably what it was. Uh, through the second part. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap. Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob... You're scaring me. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia? I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Put her belly by the key. Okay. What? 
the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. Is it a knife? Yep, it's I a might knife. I need this. <laughs> it's just gonna jump to that conclusion. Also, it looks like it has blood. Steak knife. It looks recently used. Oh, there's blood on it. Yeah, not gonna. I'm not hungry. Is there anyone over here? Nope. I can't reach over the bar. Then you can't just walk over here. Well, I'm kind of guessing what we're gonna do. Huh? It's locked. Uh, maybe we you can we use the knife on the door? Nah. Damn it. They sound. Yeah. No. Okay. They sound busy. I won't disturb them. Really, you're not gonna disturb people be after what you've been seeing, you know? Hello, are you in one C? Oh, okay. Um, I'd it, freeze to death if I open the window. It's cold enough on this train. Yeah, speaking of which, how did you not die from not wearing a coat when you were waiting for the freaking train? I don't think I should steal it. Never asked you to do. A cute doggy. He looks like my model dog. Wait, where did he leave that? Oh, crap. Okay. It's locked. Uh huh. Let's, uh, check. I shouldn't disturb random people. Wait, isn't it? I better not. I probably shouldn't go in there. Okay. Um. So, wait, is this. Oh, yeah, this is. I guess this is supposed to be my room. I didn't think it was my room, but I guess I'm... I, I guess I thought it was 1A for some reason. Okay, so... What to do? Huh. It's locked. Can I grab the... Nothing's... A fire extinguisher. Can be used for putting out fires, or dispersing rowdy parties. Can I look at the painting? Maybe I need to steal the painting to unlock the door. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. Well, we'll use a knife. Hmm. There's something here. Ooh. Weird. There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. Hmm. Okay, 2A. So let's go into 2A. What's in 2A? Oh! Hey! Hey, Alex! Hey, birthday girl, where'd you get to? Uh... Sophia? Fuck! Jesus! Sophia, it is not my birthday! Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Uh, oh god, what? It's Gavin's replaying here? her party sure. from the photograph. Why wouldn't you be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his pants earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great, Carly too! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking train, for god's sake! Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? Huh. I say it, don't worry about it. Alex is just being a weird, hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! I need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, this is sort of basically recreating your party, you know, from your wallpaper. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. Uh -huh. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? 
Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep. Obviously. Uh-huh. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. Okay, I, I, I suppose she said Kevin, him. not Gavin. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. 27 Club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah, you got any blow? Nah, not for you clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just because you've gone through some shit, just because you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, uh -huh. Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. Uh -huh. Now, you know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Lily fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Uh, Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. Um. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Uh -huh. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Uh-huh. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. Wait, what's that thing? Inhaler! I guess everyone has an inhaler. I don't want to talk to him while Carly's there. I don't want to talk to her. Hey, Sophia. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. Okay, let's just leave. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Oh. Huh? The music stopped. Well, wow, let's go back inside. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd everybody go? They're all in the bags. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. Well, considering this, you think this is a dream, and... Um, I don't see why I not. Won't go... You know? Sure. Why not? Yeah, we'll just take everything. Uh... Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Okay, okay seriously. It's hard to get by the fact of that the guys can hear a door unlocking, but hearing a freaking ringtone across cars? Come on! Someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. 
I think the ringing's coming from in here. Okay. Well, that is a room. Uh. I'd freeze to. I don't. This would be. Ah, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. Okay. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh, God, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, mm. fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. Oh, so it is I the guy from Scream. That. I'm on. A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those kitties or maybe your sweet I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then <laughs> I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Ah, so these are the threatening phone calls. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy, this fucking guy. Oh, oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass, I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. By the way, where were you I, a few uh, seconds ago? you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely you wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. Hmm. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Gloria, eh? No, uh. he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not playing. Well then. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight. Uh, yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait. The guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, mm. bye. Okay. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, look! Uh... Bob? Yep. Hey, Alex. Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you've said. Uh -huh. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Uh... Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. 
Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I wonder I if... I know, it must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. I wonder if he his daughter like his own. He loved is in a ballerina like outfit. I called him dad. His name but I always wondered, Lydia. You know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're right there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I was so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No! It's making me say things I don't want to say. <laughs> what? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing away inside my brain! Wriggling like a grub! Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. <laughs> no, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watched. I was reenacting, I reenacting the scene from Paranormal I Activity. Let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, Rob. No. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time, and now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me, and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that <laughs> what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is mm. all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king! Ah. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. <laughs> now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Okay. Yep, personal no. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! It's a porcelain doll. It... I think it has my hair... My actual hair. Oh my god. It's a... No, 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 I... I, I don't even want to look at these any longer. Ah, oh, come on. They're just photos pose of me. Yep. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? For years now. Alright, uh, stab with that. rather try and talk my way past him first. Okay. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, <laughs> you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. 
And you want to know why? Because I'm Jim fucking Sterling, son. I just wanted to throw that in somewhere. I don't know why. Stab him. What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! Uh, I could kill for a cigarette right now. Well, thing you do. Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. <laughs> Smoking will kill you, Alex. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. Uh, Stab. Hmm. This could work if it was lit. Well, I mean, uh, do I have a lit one? There we go, lit. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. Oh, this fucking egg! I'm burnt! You fucking <laughs> Okay, well, see you later. Yep. <laughs> Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I, I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was... Oh, God. Now, slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. R Robert Crow. He's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's mm. the one who's been calling me. Encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh, God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But, but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> no, then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? <laughs> I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. Mm. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but... I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. Oh. One way or another. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. Um. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and lassie. I'm sorry about all this. Okay. It's locked. Yep. I probably. Sh okay. So, what was the which carriage was it? Was it? So my carriage. Broken. It's broken. Okay. Broken cell phone. I kind of feel like I should have ended the video a little bit earlier, but nah. I'm just gonna. It's just gonna be a long video for this one. Probably gonna end soon. Oh. Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? 
I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should... I don't know. Try and patch things up? If you want. Okay. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. Okay. So, in your opinion... In my opinion? She was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. You walked in... You walked in at the worst time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. Mm. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards. In the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. <laughs> Girl, you're making my head spin with this. Anyway, my advice is, go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. Hmm. You know, this is going long enough. I'm actually curious if there's going to be more to this that it's going to last a little bit longer. So, you know, maybe maybe I'll just take the risk. This is probably if the, the rest is only like 15 minutes long, I'll take that extra time to just discuss my feelings towards this game. So, you know, I'll just uh, stop here now because this is going on a little bit longer than I thought. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying my Let's Play of the Janal or Janaural House Trilogy. Feel free to leave a like and a comment if you feel like it. If you want to know, see more of my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next part. See you later, everyone.